Hello and welcome to Credit B Presents RCB 12th Man TV. It's a new day and a new challenge for the men in blue. A chance for a few to regain their match fitness as they show that they're ready for steeper challenges ahead. For some, a chance to audition ahead of a massive couple of years in international cricket for Team India. It's a tour to the African country after six long years. And in those six years, Team India has grown into a competitive, capable powerhouse of fielding multiple competitive sides at the same time in different parts of the world. But the hosts will be no pushovers either, coming off a 2-1 series win against Bangladesh. As far as the team news is concerned, a spotlight during this series will fall on KL Rahul as he returns to the international fold for the first time since February this year. There's another big returnee to the Indian team in Deepak Chahar who will be keen to make a mark with the T20 World Cup later this year. These are really nice bro. Thanks a lot for the gift. <laughs> Credit B loans anytime, anywhere. Key battles to watch out for. Who are the players who could decide the outcome of the series? How will the opposition tackle these challenges? Here are the top three. Regis Chakabwa versus Mohammad Siraj. First up, the Zimbabwean skipper against the leader of the Indian attack, Regis. The last time he played a match for Zimbabwe, scored a scintillating 102 of just 75 to guide Zimbabwe home against Bangladesh in the ODIs. And who better than Siraj, who has a knack of producing wicket-taking deliveries with the new ball to dismiss the Zimbabwean skipper. At number two, KL Rahul versus Richard Narava. It has been a long battle against fitness on his journey back for KL Rahul into the Indian team. And ahead of the crucial Asia Cup, the three-match series will be the perfect platform for the stand-in skipper to get some runs. His wicket will be the key for the host to unlock the Indian middle order. And they will be banking on the left arm seam of Richard Narava to deliver the goods at the top. Earlier in the year, when the Zimbabweans toured Sri Lanka, it was Richard who was their highest wicket-taker with six from three matches. KL versus Richard, a battle to watch out for. And finally, Sikandar Raza versus Kuldeep Yadav. The veteran of Zimbabwe cricket, Sikandar, has hit a purple patch, scoring two unbeaten centuries as Zimbabwe chased down two 90-plus scores in two consecutive ODIs just a couple of weeks ago. Once again, Raza will be the middle order linchpin for the host. Can there be any more potent weapon in the middle overs than a Chinaman bowler? Kuldeep Yadav has made a strong statement in the final T20I against the Windies with a 3 4 and will be keen to keep the momentum going in his comeback trail. Raza versus Kuldeep, who will come out on top? And as far as RCB fans are concerned, no dirt of RCB superstars. Mohamed Siraj will obviously be there and a made in Team India call up for Shahbaz Ahmed as well. India have beaten Zimbabwe in their last 12 ODIs. They've been unbeaten, dating way back to 2013. Well, in the past decade, the two teams have had contrasting fortunes. Cricket can be a great leverer. Team India have players who have plenty to gain. Zimbabwe has the chance to compete against a giant of world cricket. A series of David versus Goliath, if ever there was one. Will the favourites India take home the series or will Zimbabwe cause an upset? Three ODIs, here we go.